Fox Sports welcomes you to Dover, Delaware, and the Worth 400 on FS1. Miles the Monster has had his day in night-long shower. He's all dried off, and so are we, ready to go. Welcome to the Monster Mile here at Dover Motor Speedway, one of the most physically demanding tracks on the schedule. We're getting ready to see these drivers take on this one-mile high-banked concrete oval. I'm Alex Hayden, bringing you all of the action from the Duramax Drydeen 400. Kevin Smith is as excited as we are for today's race. Hi, everybody. Mike Joy, along with Hall of Famer Rusty Wallace, who once won three in a row here. Former Xfinity champ and uh, standout in the NASCAR Cup Series, Clint Boyer. And what a day we are in for, because after Saturday's uh, round of practice and hey, no qualifying, this seems like contrary day for this race. It absolutely does. I think it's thrown everybody for a loop. Mother Nature, not very good on these teams this weekend at Dover, but a cool racetrack, Rusty the Monster. It is always a demanding, challenging racetrack to get around. But now, because of last weekend even, because of the metric, with no qualifying, short 20-minute practice sessions, these teams are all over the place, on the starting line and in the pit area. And that's okay. going to play havoc on all these teams. Well, everything's pretty well scrambled up. There's no doubt about that. We Watch practice here the other night, and I'll tell you what, they were having a little bit of tire issues, not too bad, but it was really grinding them up pretty big. And just you guys mentioned the starting grid, it's all over the place right now because of last week's metrics after the race was over at Talladega. It's going to be exciting to watch cars, cup cars coming from the back to the front, the pit stops, the strategy for the first stage, right. stuff like that. And NASCAR will have a competition caution at lap 20, so everybody can check tire wear, fuel mileage and the usual concerns as they race through the concrete canyons of Dover, Delaware. Glad to have you with us today on FS1. The drivers are ready, the teams are ready, cars are gridded, and the fans are ready for the command. Let's go trackside.
there. All clear. Still there. Clear down if you want it. No pressure out back. They're all clear. Still there. Outside. Track's all yours, but you're all clear. Clear high behind this one. Got a gap up top. Still there. All clear. Nothing out back. Still there. Got a gap behind this one. Clear down. Main ball laps to go. That counts five. That's your bumper. Clear high. Clear high. Clear low. Clear all around. Still there. All clear. No pressure from behind. Monday is Still for there. Martin. Two of his three Dover victories have come on rain delayed races on Monday afternoons, and he's two laps away from another one. his first Xfinity victory on Saturday, and Monday is for Martin and Dover, Martin Truex wins the World 400. Truex sweep. Two-tire call. Awesome job, guys. Thank you, man. Happy for that family. 32nd career victory for Truex. First one came here. First win. This season in his 11th start. Mayetta, New Jersey, his hometown, 130 miles from here. And the Truex family has everything to celebrate this weekend. You know, it's um, felt like we, we've been close a bunch of times, and we gave some away, that's for sure. Just thanks to everybody that stuck with us, all our fans, <clears throat> Bass Pro Shops, Auto Owners, Reesers, uh, Toyota, TRD, everybody that, uh, all my personal sponsors. We knew we could do this. We, we showed it. We've led laps. We've dominated races, and it just would never all come together. And I kept saying that we just we got to just keep doing what we're doing and not overthink it. So tough day today with uh, a few pit stops early, and then you know obviously the guys got it going at the end. So really psyched and uh, happy for everybody. And just thanks to everybody at JGR as well. Awesome job.